Another thing that I've come across when I've talked to some people about this, because I'm being a student myself in this time, and some people have said, oh, number one, I'm not ready for this yet. Or the flip side of that is, but Carmel, I'm already offering 25K offers. So this masterclass isn't for me. So what would you say to either side of that question? Well, if they're already offering 25K offers, then absolutely, congratulations. You know, they are obviously valuing themselves um, and, and the work and their ability to deliver their content um, to people. It just now is, ooh, okay, so what's the, what's the success rate or what's the conversion rate of your offer? And is there anything there that they need to fine tune or that they perhaps haven't thought about doing in order to get greater acceptance of those offers. For the person that says they're not ready yet, uh, generally it's um, more that they don't value their offering, more that they don't value themselves just yet. And so it's a bit of an identity thing that is hidden or masked by, you know, the busyness that um, we can, you know, our rational mind can convince us that is that is true. Now, some people are genuinely um, not ready. They're on the way to developing. But you've just got to understand, well, is it really that or is it something much more, uh, is something that exists much more at an identity level in the fact that you don't believe in yourself enough yet? Okay, so that's where a major amount of support needs to go because if they are delivering um, information if they're delivering support, if they're delivering knowledge in any way, shape or form to an audience who can benefit from that, there comes a point where you realise that people of affluence have exactly the same challenges going on that you could uh, um, support and, and help benefit. Um, they are time restricted too. They have um, all sorts of knowledge voids. They have all sorts of skill uh, voids. They just don't know how to do something. The trouble with, well, you know, one of the one of the challenges is that they don't look to low end service providers for the solution. They don't look at low end market. They don't look at that competitive uh, commodity uh, fungibility. Fungibility means. Um, that whilst you're offering whatever it is, you are invisible to uh, most people. So your identity, fungibility means it can be interchanged. You know, somebody else can do it. Um, you know, so, so basically, you know, everybody can make a pizza. Yeah. And so people start hunting for the best offer or you know, the best price, not necessarily the best value. And so people of affluence want the best value. They don't care what the price is. Yeah. And so some people are not ready to step up to that mark. And so they compete in the most competitive marketplace, which is actually the bottom end. And yes. there's nothing wrong with that, except, you know, it, it, when you come and, and, you know, start to be serious about business, you, you can't make the types of incomes that people say that they want to make, which is, let's say, multiple six figures or six figures by serving the bottom end because there's just not enough space in time, there's not enough leverage to be able to do that. Yeah. And so, you know, when, when people are ready, then, you know, we're here to support them. Um, but generally it is uh, got to do with an identity thing rather yeah. than I don't have enough time or it's not just right. And, and when it comes to that level, it is much more about quality than quantity. So yeah. quite often you hear people going, you know, if I just get a thousand people in this and a thousand, whereas if you have, you know, 50 to 100 of the higher end clients, you're not in that consistent rush and, you know, getting lost in that um, burnout almost of trying to keep going and keep going and keep running because it's yeah. easier. You know, I, I built four multi-million dollar businesses from the ground up and those businesses have been in different um, uh, industries, if you like. And, uh, you know, two of them especially were as chalk and cheese from each other. Yeah. But what I can actually promise people is that none of those businesses were built offering uh, low-end products because um, yeah. it's just not enough life's time in somebody like me to, you know, try and leverage a thousand different ways. And to understand that um, 
you know, people are so conditioned and so socially engineered into spending money. So it doesn't matter how much a person earns, they are going to spend it. And if you're in Australia, you're going to spend 116% of every dollar you earn, no matter how much you earn. It doesn't matter whether you're low end or high end. If you're an American, it's 126% of every dollar that you earn. And so if there are people that are prepared to spend tens of thousands of dollars learning whatever it is that they want to learn or being supported in whatever it is that they want to be supported in, they could easily spend that with you as anybody else. It's just that you're not giving them permission to spend it with you. Yeah. And so that's where that great sense of value and the realisation is that you've got to give people to spend it with you in order for them to spend it with you. Yeah, give them permission. Beautiful, I love it.